Before Linda and I moved back to Dallas and joined Wilshire, we were active in a church in Austin. It was where we were married and where Linda and I, Linda and I were ordained as deacons. It was where Molly was dedicated. For several years, it was the church that nourished us and fed us and to which we were deeply involved. As much as we loved our church in Austin, one of its struggles was simply it didn't have the long, deep roots that many churches have. By the time we moved to Dallas, back to Dallas, the church had only been in existence for about 15 years. It was filled with new believers who were loving the church and were learning about the love of God. But sometimes it struggled because they were also learning how to grow and sustain a healthy church. Sometimes those struggles led to turnovers in ministry staff, missteps in programs and Sunday school classes, and financial struggles that follow when there were simply too few people truly invested in the health of the church to keep it strong and growing. One of the things that attracted us to Wilshire when we moved back to Dallas was a sort of higher set of expectations among the membership. You may call it the Wilshire way, but it sometimes means there is history and tradition that we like to follow, but it always means that we have an intent to do things right and an intent to do things well. These expectations are lived out in Sunday school teachers, in choir leaders, youth department workers, people who for years, generations even, have been greeting our children, teaching them faithfully Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday night after Wednesday night. These are some of the reasons we are so deeply connected here. It's also what led two of our oldest, our older daughters, um, who are out working now, to be actively involved in their own churches. Kathleen in Boston now is active at Old um, Cambridge Baptist Church, and Molly right here. And if not for my involvement at Wilshire, I would not be the person that I am today. Um, I, some of my oldest friends are, come from this church. I can remember standing on those steps, singing as a music maker with Barbara Guest. <laughs> um, some of my most influential mentors have come from this church. Um, I've discovered some of my earliest passions here. At one of the in-home meetings for generations, I was asked how I thought Wilshire had changed over the years. Um, and I thought about it for a minute, and I said, you know, I know that Wilshire has changed. We've done things like left the Southern Baptist Convention and decided to ordain women ministers and deacons. Um, and in 2016, we voted to be inclusive of LGBTQ people. But over the course of my time here, I think that I have seen the core character of Wilshire stay the same. When Michael and I were planning our wedding, we came in to meet with George to talk about the ceremony, and Debbie Burton brought out this wonderful surprise for us, and it was a picture that I had drawn for George while I wasn't paying attention to one of his sermons um, <laughs> when I was six or seven years old, and it had this little note that said, Dear Dr. Mason, you're a great pastor, so keep it up. <laughs> Wilshire is a super community, in all caps. It's been great coming to this church. And it's a picture of the church with the doors flung open and people spilling out of it. And it says, God's doors are open. And I think my understanding as a small child that this was an open and welcoming community is exactly the character of Wilshire that has not changed. It's one of the reasons that I am so hopeful for the future. And it's also the reason I feel an immense responsibility to be part of building that future. One of the wonderful things that we do here, in addition to just being an open community, is teach new pastors how to do that and go out across the country and across the world and spread that openness to other churches as well. So all that to say, um, I am deeply invested in this community and I am extremely hopeful for the years ahead. So if you call Wilshire your church, you're part of the deep root system and the expanding reach that this church has. And we need you to do your part, whatever God is calling you to do, to be a part of that. Answer that call.